Welcome to part two of the feeding video. And we'll start off, uh, feeding video number seven that is of course. We're gonna start off this part with my Therophosa blondie juvenile, which I'm hoping is a female. But uh, <laughs> I still have to get a mold that I can sex from this one. Let's see if it wants a roach. Oh wow, overpowering it like insane. Can't wait to see this girl grow up. And there she goes. All right, on to the next. We have Gramasola Grossa number one. This one freshly molted, well freshly, this one has molted. And it's the one that didn't feed in the previous video. And now it does. Look at how beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Very, very beautiful. All right, on to the next. And here we have Gramasola Grossa number two. Let's see if this one would be. Awesome. Beautiful tarantulas. All right, on to the next. Next up. It's my female Homo Wyoma species blue, Peru 2. Let's see if this one would like a roach. Awesome. Now I'm feeding these male roaches because um, I got way too many males. <coughs> so trying to feed them off, it's a waste to let them go really. Um, to just throw them away. So, all right. Um, yeah, what I forgot to mention in part one is that uh, I, I uh, if you are subscribed to my channel and I haven't subscribed back, uh, don't worry, I'm a bit behind. Um, I will check out the channels and the ones that are uploading videos, I will uh, subscribe back. All right, on to the next. All right, here we have Boomba Kabokla number one. This one has molted. You can see that it's more than the left side of the screen. Um, let's see if it won the cricket. I'm just going to try in two of the small ones. Ooh. Awesome. Boomba Kabokla sling number one feeding. Let's see if number two wants as well. Here we have my Kilo Brekkies who are hini. she come out mm. oh. come on take it girl <laughs> awesome Awesome, all right. I wasn't sure she was gonna show up because uh, she dug down there all the way to the back and then she had a corridor going this way and she has a corridor going to about here or so, I guess. So I wasn't sure she was going to show up, but awesome. All right, on to the next. This is my Caribbean Fursi color. Um, she's got quite a big abdomen. Let's, let's see if she wants to feed. Awesome. <laughs> Such a great feeder, this little one. The camera has a hard time focusing. That's because of uh, there is some webbing. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but there's some webbing flying around. And uh, she has some hard time. Uh, if the camera has a hard time focusing, let's see if it. she would take a second one. Uh, yes, that's a no. All right, on to the next. Just wanted to show you real quick her little happy dance. Don't show too much of those. I do not show too much of those in um, the videos, so I thought, oh well, let's give you guys a happy dance. I already took out the other cricket, by the way. 
All right, now we go on to the next. This is Trinochilus Uranus number two. I did feed number one and it did take it, but I forgot to press the record button. I'm so sorry. Let's see if uh, this one will come out to play as well. Awesome. All right. On to the next. I don't think it will take the second one right now. Here we have my Brachypalma albiceps female. Now let's see if this one. This one isn't is a bit secretive, really. But uh, let's see if we can. Uh, if this worm can get it uh, to come out. Well, at least you got to see her grab it. There she is. She's about uh, two and a half, three inches. All right. On to the next. There's Hopalopus species Columbia, large number one. Let's see if it will take it. <clears throat> if it will take it, it should, really. <laughs> but the cricket isn't moving much. Awesome. I hope I wasn't in the way. On to the next one. Here we have my beautiful male Pamphipedia species Plaliyama. Let's see if it wants a cricket. That's yes, and there he goes again. Really a shame the males are prettier with the species than the female, but I love the way he looks. All right, let's see if the female wants to eat. This is my Pemphibetia species Polyama female. Now this one is one more behind with the male, so I'm gonna give this one a cockroach. And she grabbed it. Awesome. I'm hope she's got quite an abdomen, and I'm hoping this roach will push her into uh, into the premold. And uh, well, can't show you. Hoping this will push her into a premold, and after that mold, she will be at the same stage as the male. All right. On to the next. Right here we have Gramstola Procopis number two. This is also one I got in that bladed Christmas gift. Uh, yeah, that's a bladed Christmas gift. Um, now this one molted not too long ago, but long enough to feed. Hopefully. Well, you got to see some blue legs. <laughs> All right, next. Um, I'm sorry guys, I said Gromostola poker piece, but of course I meant Harpactera poker piece. Um, the legs, you can see the blue in the legs right there. <laughs> Alright, next. Here we have my Femuctopus species full green. And I accidentally already dropped in a cricket, so I'm going to drop in a smaller one. See if we can get another attack on video. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry I did drop in the other one already. I Having an accident, slipped through the thongs. Here it is, Femictopus species, full green female. It doesn't have the adult colors yet, it's still a sling. But uh, a very beautiful one. Alright, on to the next. Here we have my Neoholothelia insect gold form female. Her abdomen is right there, and her front legs are around there. Um, let's see if we can get this one uh, to eat. Um, of course, the worm needs to move in order for that to happen. But I also dropped it in the wrong place. I want to 
use it there. Okay, I'll pause it. I'll be back uh, if she eats. Awesome. All right. She took it. On to the next. All right. I want to ask you guys. I'm zoomed in a lot. Do you guys know what kind of spider it is? <coughs> I found this in my house. Well, better in one of the boxes the crickets came in. And it, it, it kind of looks like a, a huntsman or a wolf spider, but I'm not really sure huntsman spiders are around here in the Netherlands. I'm pretty sure they are not. And I don't know about wolf spiders really, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it molted. And um, I'm gonna try to feed it one second. Okay, it got the smallest cricket I could find. He did take it, didn't he? <laughs> awesome. Now, the reason why I did set it up like this is does a bit look a bit like a, a huntsman spider so I don't know I thought let's give it a little bit of an a, a, a boreal setup with the stakes but uh, the mold he had was on the uh, side of the enclosure so I'm not sure if that is where he molted but he's having he's having the cricket I think it looks like a wolf spider. Not really sure how we should, uh, should set up a wolf spider. So if anybody can help me with that, that would be awesome. All right, on to the next. This is my juvenile female Orphanaceous species Philippines. No, not species, just Orphanaceous Philippines. Uh, let's see if it wants a worm. Awesome. That's the best takedown we've got from this girl. Awesome. Alright, on to the next. Here we have Pamphibitius antinus number one, the big black. Um, now, the last time I tried a worm, I didn't want it. It did take a uh, cricket off camera, but let's see. Awesome. It's taking the worm. All right, let's see if number two will eat as well. All right, here we have Pamphibetius antinus number two. Let's see if this one will also take a worm now. Awesome. Awesome. As you can see, they have a pretty small abdomen. I really need to feed these slings a little bit more. But like I said, first week of February, I will do the rehousing and I'll do some bonus feeds. And these slings will most certainly get an extra feed. All right, on to the next. Here we have my Brachypelma suspect Bomi, who could be a pre mold. But I guess she isn't. <laughs> cool. All right, on to the next. We have Hysterocratus gigas, and this little one came up to see what's going on. <laughs> awesome. Alright, on to the next. Apologies guys, I said Hysterocratus gigas, it is Hysterocratus hercules, species hercules. I'm sorry. Alright, now we'll go on to the next. Here we have my Femictopus caseritis female, the young one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that wasn't really what I meant to do, but uh, I hope you guys got to see that. All right, on to the next. Here we have Haplocosmia nepalensis number one, and I'm gonna see if this one would like a very tiny worm. Oh, come on, take it. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right. 
On to the next. Buffalo Cosmic and Naples Lenses number 2. Let's see if this one would like a worm as well. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh. Take it, come on. He's not sure, I guess. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a bit long clip. Yeah, he just needed a little bit of help. Motivation, let's put it that way. <laughs> Alright, on to the next. Next up is my beautiful female Brachypelma albopulosum. I just love the curly hairs. Let's see if it wants to feed. Well, it was a bit of a weird attack, wasn't it? But she grabbed it. Awesome female, really. Beautiful spiders. Alright, on to the next. Serial Customs Elegance number one. Let's see if this one wants a small worm. Awesome. They're such awesome feeders, this cereal, Cosmos Elegance, really. Alright, on to the next. Here is cereal, Cosmos Elegance number two. Now it's on the side. Let's see if it would like to feed. No. <laughs> okay. Now this one molted pretty recently. You can see it's, it's quite laggy, but it's beautiful. Um, let's see if it wants to eat. <laughs> awesome. Alright. Look at that. On to the last one. Alright, for everybody that watches my videos, they know this enclosure. And the spider. This is my Femixpus Atricomatis. And then you know, it's the end of the video. Um, I always do this girl's last because she always gives a good feed and she seemed hungry this time so let's see if she would like this roach oh she got startled uh oh um, anyways she will grab the roach as soon as it starts moving in a second um, if it starts moving it is let's see <laughs> this wasn't completely as planned Now, if it moves, you will grab it. Okay, so it's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, stay tuned for the unboxing video that's coming up soon. I've got some awesome new additions in there. And, um, of course, after that, there's going to be that video that I'm going to rehouse the Nandochromatis and um, um, do some bonus feeds on the slings and the new additions and the ones that were too freshly molted to eat this time. All right. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, I love it, and uh, I love the interaction. 
that was a close up. Now she, of course, still needs to grab that freaking roach. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.